quick fill up and he's off again if not we'll scoop it onto a seed sock sunday morning i don't know why it looks like i've sunburnt myself already and i've only just walked outside um i think it's sunday easter sunday i'm so confused with the days also as well dry night but an hour shorter than normal could make it up could you anyway get the first spreader now go and spread some urea it's the last day for unabated urea go and spread some of that on some of the wheat that we drilled three weeks ago now it's up in rows nice so feed it hard get it out of the way add another dose it's less than a week ago but dry conditions that i can get on so we're going to do it choose your weapon i think it's going to be this one because obviously the fertilizer spreader is already on it i hate it when that happens when the inner bag decides to fall out in the spreader and hey morgan's just fired up board track he's gonna go finish your headland off and then we're gonna move to another block of land keep him busy back on the skyfall looks good at this angle I think, look at that, the gamble of slowing the skyfall looks like it could pay off. There's Morgan, can you see him? Just finishing off the headlands on the field opposite me. It looks like a robot, doesn't it? Just sort of like hovering around, bigger than a house, but that's two houses. All the crows again, eating the wheat. Looks like he's got, I don't know, another pass maybe on that field and that's another bean field ticked off. I just jumped off, might be a bit breezy just behind these trees. But it always looks cool I think when it's like a diamond pattern with it. Them rows beat them rows. It's a little bit damp to the state of the window. But we're getting it on. It doesn't all look good. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can adjust the nozzles on that because you can't see out the window properly and when you spray it, it's putting all the water at the bottom, not the top of the wiper blade. So we'll try and adjust it. Anyway, sheep update. Fill there. And just filling up now at Wellbrook. John's just getting a bag out of the shed. They're like little eyeballs, but they both, them two are both pointing in the same direction. And there's two that way. I need to put a pin in and redirect them a bit higher. Because that clips on there and then squirts out, but it's only doing there and there. And I want it to get wider. Managed to flick one with my nail and clip it back on, so we'll see what that does now. Yeah, that's annoying. That's a bit better now. Or is it actually missing? Don't know. Anyway, it's clean now. Okay, so what we need to spread it on this side of this field. Hopefully it's drier over there. It's much better here. A little bit of a water splash, but nothing major. I've got 45 acres left to spread and I never checked the fuel level and it's it's not even got a bar on it now. So I think I'm gonna have to nip back the yard and fill up with fuel. Made it back without running out, just filling it with diesel and add blue. Yeah, not only do we have to buy fuel, we also have to buy our blue, whereas other countries don't have to do that. Uh, South America don't have it. Australia don't really have it. Kazakhstan, all places like that. So they just only have to buy diesel. Bonkers. Another, another thing that's sort of unfair with farming. This is a track we cleaned off the other day, and other than the branches that need trimming back, it's pretty good now because you can stay on it. That is two ducks flying off that pond. It's not a pond, it's just a flood. 
Yeah, this field is nuts. It, you can't really see anything growing in this direction. But when you look from the other direction, it looks mint. I'll show you in a second. This is from the other direction. You see the green stripes. You can see the mist with the drill there. It shows you the sun. Morgan's just finishing off this field. All the landing lights now. The yellow lights. It was cover crop of mustard, so we drilled through it. But it's still pretty much standing. Hopefully it dies off. It was sprayed. You can see the grass is starting to go a bit brown. John sprayed that when I was in Portugal. Was it two weeks ago? No. Two weeks no, today. No, 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 no. The week. The week, yeah. Tomorrow. All right. Anyway, it's dying off, but I don't know whether the mustard has yet. Just had dinner, me and John at my mum's, and we plated Morgan's up because he's keeping the drill moving. I've gone and got some snacks and drinks for later. We'll take him his dinner, then I'll finish first. It's ready. Cruising now while Morgan eats his roast turkey. Even took his shoes off. This, this was potatoes last year and it was just an absolute bog trying to level it off. It should have been winter wheat, but we couldn't get it in. So we're now going, the spud drills were that way and we're going this way. You can't really feel it because we're like floating over. Well, it's dry and nice. You can only see a stripe dry from last time. Oh, a bit of a damp patch here. We might have to uh, dial a drill up a little bit to get through it. Did you have to dial it up last time? Pull your rev back and put this box in. Rev's back on. Easy. And off we go again. You could go 12k with this, but because we're doing quite a high seed rate, it's uh, hard to get the seed down the spouts. So we backed off slightly. Or down the tubes. It's a nice long field though. Hopefully by ripping through that water it'll start to disappear and we'll get some beans growing. Right, I've finished for the day with uh, Gonna wash it off with the volume wash. My new favourite toy. We've had a bag slide down the forks and it's cut the straps because we had the forks with us to move some pallets instead of the bag litter that's a bit smoother. So we're going to scoop it up now into this bucket and then put it back out of that hole again. Right, Morgan's munching through the acres now. Quick fill up and he's off again. It's ridiculous the conditions we can work in with that tractor. investment that's going to pay off hopefully. Just going to try and doze it in the bucket. If not, we'll scoop it onto a seed sock. It's got no handles left on it at all. I think I'll get it halfway and then cut it with a knife. Bad. Not really spilled much at all. If you, if you lift up and then hold here, then I'll slice it. <laughs> if I slice the back there, and he put some pressure on that, we can hopefully tip it all in the bucket. 
and get it out the snout hole. I'll just cut down the back now. And then... I can tip the bucket backwards. Just slice along there. If I shake it up and down a bit, then the bag should rise to the surface, the into the bottom. Got most of it up without anything that's going to block the drill. Put the snout on there then. Transfer it into another bag. Easy, you want to go down a bit. Just looking at this field of wheat on the shore. This is the difference, obviously, when it's drilled in autumn. Looks really well. There's a bit of a wet patch over there. But on a whole, looks good. Nearly bigger than James. Bit of a burr patch in the gateway, but that's suspected. Problem is, this ground is quite sandy. So if we get some dry weather in June like we did last year, it'll die off really quickly. But I'm pleased with that. In fact, while we're on this field, it's tradition to say hello to Sarah Crank, who's over there somewhere. There with the grain bins, maybe. Morgan's, there's two ducks. <laughs> Morgan's just been going for the wet bit where the uh, Bateman got stuck the other day. That kind of sums up how wet it is, doesn't it, them two ducks? Just going to take this trailer back to the yard now. It's empty. It's five past seven, so it's actually, this time last night it was dark. The sun's still pretty high in the sky. I think we need another bag of seed. We're not quite brought enough. Morgan's over there now. Struggling on. John's here with a bag left, but we've still got this corner to sow. So I'll go back and run another bag of seed up so we can get this block finished. And then that way then, when we get a chance to put a pre-emerging spray on, we can do. And um, it's all even. Charlotte's driven down the tram line to where it gets wet. So James has got a view of the drill working. Not many on today's birthday bumper. Archie Claydon's 14, Calf is 48. She's been put on it three times. That's what it says, times three. Steve Palmer's 55, Chloe Davis is 16. Michael Lyle, I think it's pronounced, is on there. Harry Lincoln, Kerry Bra Brazen, is it? Brazen? Hannah Bayfate's 30, Lucy Hall is 19, and Petra Rudledge is on there. And we're now £63,348. Happy birthday, everyone on there. And happy Easter, everyone. As you know, uh, Rob's doing the North Coast 500, so he's arrived today at John O'Groats. And um, Ivan is with him and shown him up, as you can see in the picture. Um, so, yeah, don't forget, keep your eye out for Rob while you're up there if you live in Scotland. Anyway, I'm going to run back to the field now with another bag of seed because not quite got enough to finish that block. So this, they're like marbles beans. They're just kind of like, you can calibrate the drill and then as you get going and they start rattling, they just come out quicker. It's right pain. Um, it's not, it's always done that, that drill on beans. Don't know why, just, yeah. Anyway, a lot of shed up while I'm here. Got another bag and a half, sorry, another ton and a half. This is a half ton bag. I've already put a one ton bag in the bucket. So I'll just run them up in the bucket rather than take the trailer again. I met John halfway with the seed, which was Brookhouse, so he's took that on to where Morgan's working. Charlotte's made me my tea and cooked them a pizza, so I'm going to edit this video, upload it, and then take them the pizza. Um, the Real Country File is also out today, so go and check that out as well. There's a link below for it. Uh, that is all for today. Tomorrow is looking like it's going to be wet and rainy, so we won't be probably drilling anymore. But we've got quite a bit done in the last two days, considering how bad it's been. Anyway, if you made it this far, don't forget to click like, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and happy Easter again.